Good afternoon, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with Jaspie's 8-Box Spring Training Baseball Mixer. It's a pick-your-team mixer featuring these eight boxes right here. Nice. See Nick in the reflection back there, too. Luminaries, 2017. Best, clearly authentic Stars and Stripes, 2017 Donner's Optic Fat Pack. 2016 Donner's Optic Baseball. 2015 Bowman Inception. 2014 Bowman Draft Asia Edition. Nice. So big thanks to all of these folks right here for picking their teams on the 28th. Nice. Thomas with the last spot mojo. Cincinnati Reds. Ron to Cincinnati. Thanks, everybody else, for getting into the action, too. All right. Uh, right. I guess we'll just start with the, the box right in front of me. And as I'm sure everybody, I'm sure everybody read the item description, no vet base ships, no paper base ship, no collegiate base ship. But I don't have to tell you that because everybody read the item description. All right, good luck, everybody. Well, the big baseball news of the day is that the Phillies gone and done it. He signed Bryce Harper, 13 years, $330 million. No opt-out. No trade clause. Crazy. Yeah, nothing ships, Rex. Yeah, you read the item description. That's pretty crazy. So Bryce Harper spending the bulk of his career, um, the bulk of his career uh, in Philadelphia, pretty much the rest of his career. Did I see Mark N in the house? Did I see what the Dodgers apparently offered him? No, I, I didn't actually. Probably something short term. I don't think the Dodgers ever were going to be in play for a, a 10 plus year deal. Four years at $45 million a year? That's not bad. Yeah, I don't think the Dodgers will ever offer more than that. I mean, allegedly, allegedly, um, you know, Bryce Harper wanted to kind of stay in one spot. There's Jake Thompson, speaking of the Phillies. Rated rookie autograph for Chris Miller. Juicy J saying, I took the Cardinals bones, but do you think it'll fill by tomorrow? I think it'll fill by tonight. How about that? There you go. Nice Jake Thompson. So, Phillies are suddenly contenders now, right? There's Jake Thompson again. I feel like these parallels are supposed to be numbered, but I guess not. Yeah, I mean, if we look at the schedule in the chat, we're only booked until up until around 8.30 Pacific, give or take. So we've got like another two and a half hours left in the broadcast, so I'm sure we will we can try to fill that Bowman's best tonight as well. Excuse me. These cards are... I guess they didn't put enough chalk on these cards. There he is, Bryce Harper. There he is. We'll see. I mean, definitely getting paid. Or does that... that make uh, the Phillies a World Series team? They got a lot of young players. It's possible. JT Real Muto catching. Jake Arrieta, Aaron Nola at the top of that rotation. Maybe a little, they could, I suppose they could use a little work in a bullpen perhaps, but I don't know. 
They could they could sign Craig Kimbrell and and Dallas Keuchel if they wanted to. Those guys are still out there. Manny Machado's in San Diego now. Our shipping team will double check the backs of these to make sure that they're that all of those uh, parallels and maybe if any numbered cards I miss will get picked up and sent out as well. We always do that. Chris Hale, what's going on? Excuse me a second. Sorry about that. Had to get a little water there. Ooh, Richard Lupu's in the house. He's saying he's feeling his first train whistle in Inception baseball tonight. Nice. So now, if Bryce Harper is worth what he's worth, at least according to the market, this is what we say in the hobby, right? Hey, what's that card worth? It's whatever someone's willing to pay. Hey, what's that player worth? It's whatever a team's willing to pay. So now, if that's the case, what someone's what is someone willing to pay for Mike Trout when he hits free agency after the 2020 season? $40 million a year? 10 years, $40 million a year? $400 million contract? I could see that. All right, let's go into some 2017 Panini Stars and Stripes. Let's see, do we have a checklist for this here? Yeah, you can buy trout, trout by the pound. It's pretty. Mike Trout's pretty expensive, even even by the pound. Group A checklist has 2017 stars and stripes checklist here. Cardboard Connection doesn't have them associated by a team. Mm. 
All right, well, we're going to use our, uh, I don't see a checklist that associates these players by team, so we'll use our usual uh, non-pro uniform rules. I think most of you should know this by now. These players will go to, any hits will go to the team that they are currently on. I think there's five autographs in here, so I'll have to look those guys up unless they're pretty obvious. Like Nick Prado, I think it is a White Sox. Piece of the bat and the or a royal. He is a royal. Got it. Three out of ten on that one for Kansas City. I will actually tag these to help out the shipping team. That'll go to Jess Fox. She has the royals in this one. I have no idea where Nate Wolgmuth Wolg, goes. Wait, if he's part of the 15 and under team back in 2017. He may not be even part of a uh, of a pro team right now. He is not. All right, so these will randomize as one lot somebody the end of the breaks Alex Fiedo I think is a is he a white sock or a tiger he's a tiger yes yeah, still a tiger nice so that's 200 out of 499 part of the collegiate national team right there Nice. Tigers, that'll go to Jess Fox as well. There you go, Jess. And we got Jersey and Gold Ink Auto, Anthony Volpe. He's also 15 in ours. There's a good chance he's not he's going to be part of that pile too. Andrew saying uh, best is in single digits. Nice. Yeah, looks like still a high schooler, possible, uh, I think, Vanderbilt commit, according to the Google machine. That would be part of the randomizer right there. Matt Tice, that is an angel. Nice, out of 10. And we've got... A relic and another autograph in this. Seth Beer. Mmm, beer. 413 out of 499. Seth, where does Seth Beer go? Seth Beer is in the is in the Astros organization. That'll go to Bobby Guzman and the Houston Astros. And Tools of the Trade, two-color quad relic, Tony Jacob. Part of the 15 and under team, so I'm assuming he's not going to be associated with the pro team either. He's 15 in 2017. Uh, he's not. He actually graduates... Gonna be graduating this year though. Alright, so that'll be part of one lot. Excellent. Alright, onwards. Two. Where should we go next? Should we go into let's go back in time. Let's go back in time to 2014. Bowman Draft Baseball Asia edition. Tyler Kolek, Nick Gordon on the front of the box. One prospect auto in every box. I think the Asia editions, just they're just 
they just have different parallels, but I don't think the checklist is any different. It's not like they add more Asian players or anything like that. In case we were wondering, is this a product exclusive for that market? All right, good luck everyone. All right, good luck everybody. Some of you guys are having some streaming issues. I just dropped the uh, the Twitch link in the chat, ladies and gentlemen. So for those of you who are having issues, double check your internet connections as well. Make sure you're trying to stream at the highest quality possible. And uh, sometimes twitch.tv slash Jaspi's case breaks. A lot of people watch there and then you can still chat in the YouTube stream. We won't be monitoring the Twitch stream that often. Uh, no, Leonard, we're about four boxes in. Box. Got Robert Stevenson, Forrest Wall to 99. Got a little mini right here, mini Luis Severino. Nice. I've heard of this guy, Chris Bryant. And your autograph is Nick Birdie. For Dan Maddox and the Twins. There you go, Dan. Brinson, Mark, remember Mark Appel, Mark Appel there. Grant Holmes, a lot of, an old school guy is hiding in there. Carson Sands to three ninety nine. Is Trey Turner in the set, TJ saying? There's Lewis Brinson again, not numbered. Sean Coyle. J.D. Davis. You see that Cubs Eloy Jimenez? There's Roselle Herrera, Blue Wave, and Grant Holmes. Remember Grant Holmes? He was a big Dodger prospect for a little while. I think he's in, in the A's organization. Eight out of ten. 
the A's organization now. Oh, did I pass a Schwarber? We should probably save one of those too, right? Even though it's paper. All right. So there you go. That was old 2014. And then we'll go into some uh, 2016 Donner's Optic Baseball. Yeah, Lou Brown saying, yeah, I've been waiting on Grant Holmes for I don't know how long. He's been in the Oakland A's minor league system forever. What's what 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 is the issue with Grant Holmes? I think he just he's got the talent. He was a, he was a really highly touted prospect. I mean, where did injuries get in the way? It must I think injuries kind of got in the way of his progress. I think he's still pretty young too. Yeah, it had, yeah, I think the injuries have kind of held him back a little bit. All right, now let's go back to 2016. Then we'll do Bowman's Best. Then we'll do Inception from 2015. Then we'll do Clearly I Think. Then we'll close out with Luminaries. All right, good luck, everybody. There was another kid that went to... Who, 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 was, who was the other guy that, that went in that Grant Holmes deal? Was it? Do we have? I think Jarrell Cotton. I think was a former Dodger that went to the A's, and I think he's starting to get some, got in some, some starts or some appearances last year. Cotton, yeah, okay, so TJ saying it, okay. Yeah, I like him. Uh-oh, Brandon Luger saying, Joe with a hat on tonight, you're scared. The next-gen stat, allegedly, is that Brandon doesn't hit very well when I'm wearing a hat. Maybe a few times, that's a few times a week. At least a couple times a week. Good luck, everybody. We got rated rookie Aaron Nola out of 199. He got an extension. And his teammate now, Jake Arrieta, and got it. And Travis Jankowski is your autograph. Nice rookie autograph. Optic Autos for the Padres. That'll be for Lee. Lee Day with the Padres. Padres looking like a brand new team with Machado in that lineup. Lou thinks that uh, Cody Bellinger will bounce back and hit a bunch of dingers. I think so too. I think I think Cody Bellinger kind of got into that classic, you know, sophomore slump last season. I'm going to randomize that too. But he was kind of up and down last season. But I think I think he should be able to kind of get back on track this year. I'm hoping. And a redemption.
calling the flight crew to help some local flyers make it on time to march here. Are those redemptions expired? They might be, but Panini usually does a pretty good job about honoring those expired redemptions. All right. It's Michael Conforto for the Mets. Yeah, it is expired, but Mets, they should, Joe Ivers, they should be able to take care of that for you. All right, now let's move into some Bowman's Best. This is from 2017. Carlos Correa and Royce Lewis on the front. Good luck, everyone. Yeah, Lewis and Cody Bellinger, one of my favorite young players in the, uh, in the league. Super underrated. Well, I hope so, too. I hope he's going to be uh, be someone that uh, some, be a player to remember. Paul Hodgson, chicken, not a Padre. San Diego chicken's just in San Diego. He's an independent contractor. And we've got a full case of 2018 Inception Baseball coming up right after this break, ladies and gentlemen. So stay tuned for that. Should be some good stuff in there, too. All right. Good luck, boys and girls. We got Matt Sig Sauer. Or whiskey sour, depending on what you enjoy. Yankees, that'll be for Mary and the Yanks. There you go. Hey, congrats, William Fulmer. That was a that was a nice little uh, nice little bonus for you. We got a mirror image. We'll randomize this uh, between these two teams. Forty-two out of fifty. Nice gold parallel. And a redemption, it's, what's the haps? Ian Hap. Best of 2017 autograph, green, a refractor parallel. It might be out of 99 or something like that. Tony Barkey with the Cubs. Now, Tony, you'll also notice that this is also expired. No, you, I thought that said one. No, you got until the end of the year. There you go. That's why we always play to the whistle, William Fulmer. Always play to the whistle. And we'll randomize these left and right. There's Joe Adele. Nice. One of the Angels' top prospects. One of the top prospects in baseball. Mary has the Angels. Nice. That is strong. And a Jason Groom. What's going on with Jason Groom? I feel like he was one of the bigger the bigger names in the Red Sox organization. James O with the Red Sox. Forty nine out of fifty. Red Sox fans, any any updates on Jason Groom? Here's Will Myers to ninety nine. And we've got Kevin Merrill for the A's. Carlos Correa. Let's be part of that left-right randomizer. Oh, Tommy John surgery. So 
That's why he's been missing. And Oakland A's, Chris N. Chris Knotson. I think that's how you say it. Oakland Athletics, Kevin Merrill. All right, now let's get into some Inception. 2015 Inception Baseball. Four autograph cards and one autograph relic per box. So we'll just kind of go this way. How about some Kyle Freeland? Nice Kyle Freeland out of 150. That's for the Rockies. Kyle Freeland had a nice, nice year last year. That goes to David Bruins. Then we've got Bradley Zimmer for the Tribe. Matt Buckler. TJ saying that this was the best year of Inception. 2017 was pretty good. Maybe an Aaron Judge. Got Christian Walker, 39 out of 150 for the Orioles. That will go to Mary Lou. Then we've got a nice Luis Severino. I believe that was the, this has to be the case hit, that Bowman design. Nice one for the Yankees, Mary Lou with the Yankees. It was a case hit, says TJ. Confirmed. And another Luis Severino. Jersey and autograph. He had a great, like, three-fourths of a season. He was on his way to a Cy Young Award, I think, but kind of slipped towards the end. But it's still a solid pitcher for the Yankees. Nice. All right, now time for some 2017 Clearly Authentic. One encased... Acetate autograph per box. Good luck. Wow. That's clearly authentic autograph red parallel Aaron Judge. TJ, you called it, but just in, in the wrong box. What's the red parallel numbered to? Like 10? So that's the Yankees, Mary Lou with the Yankees. We're gonna look up this parallel for you. Clearly authentic autograph, red red's out of 50. Still nice. There you go, rookie Aaron Judge. All right, I haven't seen luminaries in a while. This is 2018 Topps Luminaries. One in case autograph or autograph relic per box. All cards number to 15 or less. Good luck, everybody. Then we'll do some randomizers after this. Right, and a free one touch out of there too, Mary. Paul Hutchins. Reminding us. All right. Good luck. Boom. We've got Johnny Bench. Three out of five. A train whistle to end this break. Nice game use memorabilia. Triple relic and autograph. 290 home runs. A lot for a catcher. Who's got the red lip? Thomas Bove. Last spot mojo. Three out of five. All aboard the Big Head Express. Whoop, whoop. Nice last card indeed. You are welcome, sir. What a way to finish it. 
All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We'll do a left-right randomizer. Then we'll randomize this left and right. Then we'll randomize the Team USA lot to the name on top, San Diego Chicken base card, to the second name on top. All right, make sense? Let's roll, let's roll. So let's go back to the list. Right, no, no reds until the very last one. Let's grab everyone's names for this list right here. Then we've got the left-right randomizer. Then we got the gold parallel, Houston, Minnesota. We'll do that separately. Same dice roll for all three lists. Let's go. Eight times. Six into two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Left side teams. So Cubs and Dodgers. We'll get that one. This one's numbered to 50. It was gold. So we'll do that separately. Six and a two, eight times. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. Stays with Houston. That goes to Bobby Guzman. There you go, Bobby. Won the randomizer on that. You get the mirror image, 42 out of 50. Are they saying that Royce Lewis is going to be like Carlos Correa? That's a good comp. Good comp there. All right, six and two, eight times for these right here. One, your names, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time after eight times, right? Six and a two. Top two names get something. Second name is David Bruins. You'll get that San Diego Chicken base card. And Tony Barkey. You'll get that stack of, uh, I mean, of these Team USA guys. And who knows if... Anthony Volt gets drafted by a big team, turns into superstar. Put this in the drawer and check on those a few years later. And there you have it, folks. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com, our eight-box spring training mixer in the books. We'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.